Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3. And you can catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org or you can come by and visit us any morning between the hours of 9 and 12. We're on the south side of the square and we always have a welcoming warm cup of coffee for you. And do come by and visit. The weather today. Today is Monday, October the 14th. And in the greater Midwest, the weather story over all the Midwest, it spells storm, 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 rainstorm, snowstorm, and thunderstorms. Uh, there's a low pressure system which brings a cold front, and that cold front is moving slowly eastwards uh, across the plains and the Midwest. And it brings with it heavy snow to the west of us. And in some cases, it could accumulate up to 15 inches. And other places, it's heavy rain and thunderstorms um, across the plains. That we'll, we'll see that through um, tonight, Monday night. And it could bring up to one to two inches of rain. The highs um, will reach 60s and the, to 70s in Kansas and Nebraska. But right now in the square, if you look up, it's... The skies are cloudy and it is raining. We have cloudy skies which are showering a, a soft autumn rain. And um, with that, the temperature is only 6 to 7 degrees. And the winds are at 15 miles per hour. And of course, a high humidity, 95%. In the next six hours, there will be widespread showers and thunderstorms. Um, right through the mid-afternoon and it will remain mostly cloudy and windy an 80% chance of rain remains for today and the winds coming in at 20 to 30 miles per hour and that will push the temperature up to 6 to 7 degrees. Tonight the wind will shift somewhat from the southeast pattern it has had for several days it will shift to a west-northwest um, wind pattern at 17 miles per hour and with that coming in from the north we will see the temperatures fall into a low of 45 degrees and again with more thunderstorms likely in the evening. Uh, Tuesday's outlook um, it will be mostly sunny during the day uh, with a high of 62 and the winds coming in from the north northwest at 20 miles an hour Humidity of 51%, and the night we will see um, temperatures down to 38. Skies will be clear, so there will, there's no rain, but it will be in the high 38s. And the wind pattern north northwest at 40 miles per hour. Um, with the shift in the wind pattern uh, to north northwesterly. We will see uh, the temperatures falling for most of the week and it's a pattern of high 60s and um, for the highs and high 30s to the mid 40s for the low for the rest of the week. In our community, we want to wish a happy birthday to Johansi Simon. You probably won't see Johansi, but um, that's his birthday today. And tomorrow, it's Larry Fisher's birthday, Steve Schultz, Morgan Daly, and Leora Wiles. So wish them a happy birthday tomorrow and give them a call and celebrate your birthday with them. Um, scouting for food, that occurred on Saturday. Uh, the Boy Scout and the Cub Scout, they did their duty and they picked up their boxes, but unfortunately the, they did not cull as many boxes as they did last year. So the collection was far below last year's collection. But it's never too late to give a monetary co um, contribution. So if you could, please call Rebecca Reed at 549-6489. Rebecca is the troop leader and I'm sure she will still accept monetary contributions.
So mark your calendars for Wednesday and maybe come Wednesday with anticipation to have a good meal. It will be chili or chicken noodle soup, a sandwich and dessert and drink. And this will be at the First United Methodist Church, the Woman's Bazaar and Yearly Soup Supper. It's October the 16th, Wednesday, October the 16th, starting at 4.30 until 7 p.m. or until it's all, all the food has been served. So please plan on having supper in, at the United Methodist Church on Wednesday. And the bazaar will include homemade baked goods, jelly, craft items. And the women of the church are doing this to support their mission works. And they do a great job supporting several different types of missions, lo locally here as well as abroad. So do come and help them make that evening of success. And look forward to Sunday, um, October the 20th. It's the 27th annual turkey dinner at the St. John Catholic Parish um, Witch Center. There the meal will be good, good, good um, roast turkey and all the trimmings. I know everybody has been working hard to get that prepared. So look forward to that on Sunday afternoon from 12 until 1.30 p.m. And um, the ladies have a prize of a queen size quilt and some bicycles. And everyone is welcome. And do bring a canned good, non perishable um, food. And this will give you a ticket for the raffle. It will give you a free ticket for the Altar Society raffle. And I'm sure um, a lot of this food will be donated to the food bank also so please come and help the ladies celebrate and do that for a very good cause so that is October the 20th at 12 at the Catholic Wit Center. Our friends at the library um, they're celebrating National um, Book Library Week October the 20th to the 26th. And I like what they say here. Even the smell of a library lifts my heart. Libraries have been a treasured part of my life over ever since I realized I couldn't possibly afford to own a house full of books I wanted to read. And that is the same from Vicki Lane. So please support um, the friends of the library and um, if you go by the library any afternoon or any time, you can get a gift certificate for coffee or cappuccino at the library. So please. And I see a note here that says, it says nomination, nomination, because little gnomes placed in the yard is to remind you to get a Friends of the Library membership for this year. So do that and help support a good cause. Mark your, mark your calendars also for October the 26th. Um, the seniors are going to take a trip to Great Bend at the Golden Belt Cinema 6. Uh, they will leave um, and go to Poppin' Pizza here locally for 5 o'clock and then they will leave at 6 o'clock to go to Great Bend and then at 7 o'clock um, they will go for the, um, the cinema. The cost there is only $20 and you can have your choice of the movie that you would want to see when you go to Big Bend. So mark your calendars for pizza and movie on October the 26th. Here are some good menus that the senior centers are serving up today. Over at the St. John um, Center, there's a Mexican meatloaf, a ranch baked potato, a seasoned peas, spice ap apple ring salad, and a coconut layer dessert. And next day they'll be serving beef pot roast with vegetables, seasoned carrots, Mandarin orange delight salad and a Buster Bar dessert. 
and on Wednesday they'll be serving her baked chicken, cream peas and potatoes, and fresh fruit salad and cookies and a cookie bar. Sounds very nice. And at the Maxwell Center today they're serving up beef and noodles, Scandinavian vegetables, and um, strawberries and pears. And tomorrow they'll be serving up chicken, parmesan, baked potato, peas and carrots, bread, and the usual fixings of tea and coffee. And on Wednesday, it will be Swiss steak with tomatoes, mashed potatoes, creamed, uh, steamed uh, cabbage, and apricots. Ah, uh, sounds very enticing, so please do call over there if you are sick and shut in and they will be happy to have the meals delivered and better than that still go over and visit and enjoy the big things as we we've been talking about it is still october and it's the season for flu shots and um you can get those over at the health center and they will do the medicare or Medicaid, or even your private insurance. They will do all the paperwork for you. Call them at 549-3504 or 1-877-517-3504 if you need some more information as to what vaccines you should take or um, if you're age 65 or over and you work with adults, it's highly recommended that you do have some type of vaccination. And our food for thought today, our food for thought today is tomatoes. Um, vitamin C rich tomatoes help fight colds and flu by boosting the body's natural immune system, body's natural defense system. Uh, they're very similar to their cousins, the um, citrus family. And one medium tomato provides 40% of your daily vitamin C. So have a glass of tomato juice at lunchtime, and then for dinner you can have pasta with a good rich tomato sauce. That's our thought for the food for thought today, tomatoes. Have a good afternoon. It's wet, so keep dry. <laughs>